As you begin publishing content on any of the major platforms online, you're going to want to come up with a strategy for using hashtags. Now, hashtags are really this awesome built-in tool that helps give you more organic reach on your content. Because no matter what platform you're publishing on, hashtags really work the same. They are a way for people to search for and consume content that is outside of their normal connections or their normal network. And so when you understand this, it really is an impetus to use hashtags on your own content. Because people outside of those that you're connected with, out those who follow you, can interact with and see your content. Now, I've gone ahead and created a resource in, that's linked in the comments below to help you come up with a strategy for using hashtags on your content. But basically, this is what I do. See, I come up with a list of hashtags that I want to use on every topic that I publish about, that I, can, that I create content for. So I create a list of hashtags for posts when I write about content or when I write about marketing or pursuing your dreams or personal development. I have a set of hashtags that I like to use for each one of those. And so what I do when I'm trying to determine what hashtags to use is I pick one of those topics, let's say content, because that's what we're talking about today. And what I do is I go on to the platforms that I am going to be posting this content and I search for the hashtags that are similar to the topic that I am that I am producing content for. And so what I'll do is I'll, I'll go into the search and I'll type hashtag content and I will see all the list of all the hashtags that include this word content. And I go to the hashtag and I view it and really you wanna have a four tier strategy for your hashtags. So what you wanna do is you wanna find hashtags that in the first tier are very well used hashtags. They're popular hashtags. Hashtags that have a lot of followers, which is what you will see on LinkedIn if you search for hashtags, or hashtags that have a lot of content that's posted to them, which is what you will see when you search for hashtags on platforms like Instagram. And what you want to do is you want to find hashtags that have a very high usage or very high follower count. These are hashtags that get used a lot. These are hashtags that get searched a lot. And so you want your content in there. But understand that these high performing hashtags really aren't going to help you to trend right away. They aren't going to help you to get a lot of new followers, new connections, new engagement, because there's a lot of competition. So on top of the high performing hashtags, you want to have medium performing hashtags. These are hashtags that you will have a better chance of trending with, that you'll get more followers, you'll get more people engaging because there's less competition. The third tier are low performing hashtags. These are ones that very few people follow, very few people post to. And the reason you wanna do low tier or low performing hashtags is that you have a great chance of trending and you have a great chance of building up content in that hashtag. So as people start finding that hashtag and using it, they're gonna see all of your content. So it's always good to have a mix of these high, medium, and low performing hashtags. Hashtags. The other thing you want to do is come up with your own hashtag. Now I've got some tips on this because you want to be very careful of what you create as your hashtag. See, so you want a hashtag that will fit for the majority of the topic clusters that you talk about. So for instance, I talk a lot about marketing and content and branding. So I can come up with a hashtag that fits those three topic clusters because they're very similar and they kind of interact with each other and fall kind of under that same umbrella. But when I post about personal development or, or pursuing your dreams and your purpose, there's probably gonna to have to be a different hashtag because they don't, it's a broader category that doesn't necessarily fit under marketing and branding and content. And so you wanna come up with a separate hashtag, an individual personal hashtag for each different topic cluster that you can. And you wanna make sure that your hashtag is one that other people will eventually want to use. So I recommend don't include your name in it um, because if you have your name in there, it's going to hinder other people from using it. And really what you wanna do is make sure all of your content that fits in those topic clusters has this hashtag. Because one, you will trend in your own hashtag. That's because you're the only one posting to it at, at the start. 
But as other people see it and they jump on board and start using it, if you've been developing this hashtag and putting content to it, you are the biggest contributor. And so your post will always show up first. And as it grows, you're going to want that. You're going to want your post at the top of this hashtag. And so create your own, make sure it is unique enough that other people haven't used it yet, but make sure it's not so unique that other people are going to say, well, I don't, I don't want to use a hashtag that says Jason does marketing because that doesn't apply to me. Find one that's broad enough that other people will want to use, but specific enough that no one has used yet and start implementing that on all the content that it works for. And so what I do is with these four tiers, I have a note in Evernote that lists out all the hashtags for each of the different topics that I want to use. So when I go to post, I just copy the hashtags, paste them into the post, and I'm done. Now you do have to check each platform to see how they handle hashtags. Here on LinkedIn, there really is no limit to the amount of hashtags you can have in a post and you can put hashtags anywhere in the post. So if it's the hashtag content, you can use that in a sentence instead of just putting it all below. But there is a limit to the amount of characters you can use in LinkedIn posts, so be careful. On Instagram, there is a limit of 30 hashtags. And so really what you want to do is find the limits of each one of the platforms and find an even mix of your high, medium, low performing hashtags and your personal hashtag. Now, ever since I've kind of implemented this system, I've had at least one post every week that trends in a medium to high performing hashtag. And so it it works if you sit down and you do the work. So search the hashtags, go, go actually click on them and go to kind of their little landing page and see how many followers or how many posts have been made in that hashtag and break them out into high, medium, low and come up with your own and then do a mix of those every time that you publish a post. It is going to give you more organic reach and help more people find your content. So as I said before, there is a resource to help you do this linked in the comments below. And as always, if you have any comments, if you have any questions, you can leave those in the comments below or shoot me a message. I am more than happy to help you come up with a hashtag strategy. And if you are someone who has your own hashtag strategy of what you do, please share that in the comments below. And especially if you have your own hashtag, how did you determine what you were going to use? Let us know in the comments below so we all can get better at using hashtags. And until tomorrow, when I have another great tip for you, I hope you all have a great day.